my gosh, guys, I am in love with this piece. This is solid wood. Oh, I, we don't run across something like this very often. I think we paid $40 at our local Goodwill for it. Did you see the inside of the drawer? So they are in great shape. So this is that multi-purpose kind of piece because it can be a sideboard, it can be a buffet, I is what I see it as, and some people might see it as a dresser, but I love when we can make a piece that is multifunctional and it can go in anywhere in your living space. So yes, I have a great idea. Chris is going to do, be doing a lot of sanding. Good thing we just got that festival sander. So stay tuned and watch the process of what we do to this, this big piece of furniture. And you can probably imagine how heavy this piece is it with it being all solid wood all those little scratches on top there again it being solid wood you know you're going to be able to sand them off but just a beautiful piece and as chris was taking out the drawers you're always excited when you find maybe a lot of times it's just trash left behind but he did find a few goodies this time Let the sanding commence. <laughs> There's just a lot of sanding to do on this piece. Super excited that it's wood. It's got all those scratches. So let's see what's underneath. Smart man, because that's what I would have done to take a break. Let's remove all that hardware. That's a lot of sanding to do. Now for what I want to do with this, I don't want to reuse a lot of the hardware, but hopefully we have something that will match up to the holes. I guess it's time to get back at that sanding. flip it over on its side so he can sand the side luckily he's six foot four so he will be able to reach that but when he did that we did not realize that this looks like it used to have some type of casters and if we have something that will fit i think that we might put it in there because oh this is a beast to move and i did kind of toy with just staining the top or leaving the top natural but all in a whole bunch of little weird areas is this blue spackle wood filler so i'm going to get this all cleaned up just using some hot water and some super clean just get all the whole area prepped i'm happy that those drawer bottoms are in great shape i got a little bit of work to do on the inside of this because it was super dusty super dirty and there's still little odds and ends so i decided just to take the air compressor and see if i can get anything that might be stuck in any places out and we're hoping in our hardware stash that we have something that will fit. Now the four top drawers, I know we're going to have to fill in those holes because we're going to put knobs, but I really wanted just to replace these with something smaller. I have three that match up with the holes and now I have to decide that I need six of them. So which ones do I have six of? Now I know I want to do the knobs, so there was one on the door itself that's opened. So now I have to figure out what ones match the poles that I picked out. And then again, do I have five of them? That is why I always have a hard time passing up hardware at the thrift store. It's so cost efficient and there's usually always something that will match. So got these all cleaned up with Dawn dish soap, hot water, let them dry. And now we're going to color them up black with Rust-Oleum's paint and primer in the flat black. And then after that dries, we will seal them in with polycrylic to protect them. So to fill in the holes where we're going to change out those two just knobs, Chris is just mixing up some Durham water putting, putting a little tape on the back of the inside of the drawer so it doesn't run all and then it has some place to stop and then fill those holes in. <laughs> We're 
getting closer to painting, but now we have to, after that Durham water putty had dried, need to get that sanded smooth. And then get each one of these drawers wrapped in these little trash bags, masking taped off, because I definitely love the bottom of these. So to paint this piece up, we are using our Graco True Coat handheld sprayer. It does not need an air compressor and just the ready to use black onyx flat paint right off the shelf from Walmart. Black sure does cover well when it is nicely sanded, so just a few items that need to be flipped over and a second coat, making sure everything is touched up. After that black was dry, Chris is going to be using one of the Harbor Freight sprayers to spray some polycrylic to seal this black all in. I am loving this so far. Oh my gosh, just absolutely gorgeous. Now we just have all, a few more details to get this finished up, but would you look at that gorgeous paint job. All these details are gonna be brought out with some sanding. So now I'm going in with some 220 sandpaper. Well, I started off with 220, but because the polycrylic job was so well, I had to switch over to a 150 grit to start sanding and distressing all those beautiful all those little details there's that rounded edge there's this inlay on the top and then after i got it all distressed the way that i wanted it i went in with that 3 320 sandpaper and lightly sanded it and then steel wooled it So as I'm blowing this off with the air compressor getting all that sanding dust, does anybody sometimes use their air compressor to kind of gather up the sanding dust <laughs> and kind of sweeps the floor with it? I know that Chris does not like when I do that. Yes, you had guessed it if you were a regular viewer of our channel, you knew that I was going to go in with some Waverly antiquing wax and just finish this piece up. Oh my goodness, would you look at what that did to that black paint. Did anybody happen to notice this masking tape that we taped off this area? Yes, there's these three drawers. We left them natural because I want to do some decoupage paper. Now, unlike the pieces I've done before, I could take the drawers out. But for this piece, as you see, they sit flat. So I'm going to have to apply it why it's the drawers are in just used a little bit of masking tape to hold it in place i have some polycrylic in a bowl and yep i have not done this before there wasn't anybody home to help me flip this on its back so i could do a different angle so it'll be what it'll be and i'm just going to apply it like this and i know that that polycrylic is going to get sucked in a little bit on the fast side so i have to kind of work fast
I'm going to go in gingerly with a very sharp, I'm using my Cricut X-Acto knife to make these cuts. I know that the paper is probably a little bit wet. Maybe I should have waited till it was dry, but my OCD, my whatever you want to call it, <laughs> did not want me to wait. So I had to go in and do it right away. Oops, I probably should have taken off that masking tape. <laughs> yeah, oh well, it's going to be a little bit more distressing. I like my pieces to be distressed anyway. So now I'm just going to go back in with some more polycrylic, cover up the top of it, making sure all those edges are nice and glued down. And I don't mind the wrinkles. I know it's a personal preference. I like the, the worn, aged look of it all. After getting it all glued in place, now I'm just going to have to walk away and let it dry. Now that the paper has dried up with the polycrylic, I'm going back in with my mouse sander and I'm just getting rid of that sharp edge of the paper. I'm going to distress it. I'm going to make it look like it's been worn off with time. And especially on like the top where I cut that, there's a little bit of a strong hard edge that I'm just going to make sure is nice and smooth. Then I took my drawers out. I want to make sure that all the paper is good and attached, that there's nothing loose. So just taking a little bit of sandpaper, any of that, you know, the paper dried with polyacrylic. So it is a little bit on the hard side. So I want to make sure that one, I've got that nice and smooth. And if like anything like here that is loose, I can just glue it back down using that polyacrylic. I'll also double check the bottom of my drawers, seeing if anything needs to be glued back down. I went ahead and taped around the whole outer edge because I'm going back in with some of that same black paint that we used in feathering it in. So I'm just going in gingerly right now with just my stencil brush. So I kind of it kind of gets that worn, burned, wear, weared off with time look. So now I can go in with a bigger paintbrush and do the rest of the wood. I'm going to have to pull the drawers out a little bit to do the edging, but I wanted to keep all my drawers together. After two coats of paint, I'm going to seal it in with the polycrylic and let that dry. After that polycrylic dries, I'm going to go back in and distress that black edges just like I did the outer of the piece. These black color sides to match up what the rest of the body does, so going in with that antiquing wax and then I'm going to blend that in into that paper. Now for those four smaller draw drawers, Chris is going in and has to make new holes because we filled those in and we weren't using poles, we were just using knobs. So he's just making some new holes for the new knobs.
today's makeover. Oh my gosh, if I had a place to stick this in my house and it wasn't so heavy. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Um, we did end up putting wheels on it. We didn't get video of that. You don't see them from underneath. It's just something to help move it around. And yeah, especially since we have to take it into our booth and sell it and they have to load it up and bring it home and you, you have to clean under it. So no, absolutely love it. So give me a quick comment. Did you like it? I know this is similar to others that I've been doing, but they have been selling as soon as we put them in our booth. So wouldn't you all do stuff that if you know it's going to sell, you're going to make it. So give me a quick comment and a like if you like this kind of content. And if you're checking out our furniture flips for the first time and you liked what you saw, please hit that subscription button along with the notification bell so you know when we've uploaded a new video. And we will see you next time, guys, and you can see what we're up to. Bye.